Officials in Volusia County practiced an emergency response exercise in the land this morning ahead of SunRail's new station opening. This was one of the final steps before trains can start running there. Our traffic expert Megan Mackey was there and shows us the scenarios they're preparing for. More than 40 people and 20 agencies in Volusia County took part in a full scale emergency exercise in DeLand on Wednesday ahead of SunRail's new station opening. Working in emergency management, talk with me about the importance of doing a mock operation like this before it opened. So it's always important to, 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 to practice and get our, our, our muscle memory developed before an actual incident occurs that forces us uh, into that situation. So the more, the more that we can train, the more that we can exercise, the more that we can practice, the better off the response will be. A bomb disposal robot, SWAT, EMS, and other agencies practiced a handful of scenarios, including a social media bomb threat, a death investigation, and an armed and barricaded person with a suspicious backpack on the train. This is something we never want to see, SWAT boarding the SunRail train. With emergency officials here in Volusia County tell me, it's important that all emergency personnel are preparing for the worst case scenarios. It's important for them to understand the safety rules and for us to understand and for our partners to understand the uh, emergency measurements that need to take place. The whole drill lasted about two hours. The exercise was required by the Federal Transit Administration and Federal Railroad Administration one of the final steps before the station can open. With this drill, it seems like you guys are close to opening the DeLand station. Any date of when ex service is expected to start? There's not a concrete date yet, but it is coming. We are looking forward to the DeLand station opening sometime this summer. The station will open right next to Amtrak in DeLand, connecting 12.2 miles to DeBerry. In DeLand, Megan Mackey, West 2 News.